Hey guys. Okay, I am impromptu. Hopping on. The dogs are making all sorts of noise. Let me tag some people. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful Tuesday. Um, if you hop on, say, hey, what's up? If you want to watch the replay, y'all know that that's great too. Um, okay. I think I tagged some people, I think. Um, I just got home from washing my car. And I was thinking, y'all know that I love to do self-reflection. And I was just like giving myself props this morning. And I was like, girl, you really did it. Like, you really did it. Um, and I started thinking like, what makes me, because... I mean, obviously I have so much more to accomplish and so many more ways to grow, but I think it's really important to kind of reflect and give yourself a pat on the back for the accomplishments that you have done. So whether they're big or small, maybe it's just waking up today and choosing joy. Like that deserves a pat on the back. Okay. So when I was reflecting, I was like, okay, so what, like, what makes me different? Because I honestly, you know, I've been in Cincy for five years. Um, I just couldn't imagine my life without Cincy or this opportunity. Um, but I'm like, I know, you know, handfuls and handfuls and handfuls of people who have started not Cincy necessarily, but direct sales businesses and they fail. Okay. So why do they fail? Like what made me different? What made my story successful? And I started doing some reflection and I came up with 10 tips and I want to share them with you guys. So, um, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So if you are hopping on, like I said, say, Hey, what's up? If you're watching the replay, say replay. If you're logging on from YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe, um, share this. If you find joy and substance from it, share it. Right. So um, my first tip, I'm just going to dive right in. Hey, everybody. Um, number one is you've got to love, love what you sell. Okay. So, you know, we always say like, we're not in the business of selling. We're in the business of sharing and you don't have to be a professional salesman to be good at this because y'all know that I am super anti spammy Pammy. We don't do spam here. We don't do cold messages. We don't do that stuff. We don't do flyers. That's not how I run my business. All right. But what I do do, what I do do, what I do often is every single day is I love, I use what I sell and I love it. I use what I sell and I love it. You cannot sell things that you don't use. So if you are, for instance, this incentive, if you're having a hard time closing out the cleaning line, you need to order some cleaning products and figure out what you love about them so that you can educate your customers, hype your customers up and let them know why they don't have to go buy the Target brand cleaner. What is going to make Scentsy Cleaner so amazing, right? Um, you should definitely have a updated product, um, like a booklet. Mine's in my office. I don't want to get up, but um, like a we have product description booklets that go into depth and educate you on every single thing that we offer. So those consultant hand guides, I get a new one for every season. Okay, so fall in love with the product. That is tip one. Tip number two is, okay, so I heard this from someone else and I was like, dang, that is a light bulb. It's called be fab, F-A-B, be fabulous, okay? What that means is you, when you are talking about a product, you're gonna wanna say one, F, what does it feature? What is it, okay? Easy. Two, A, advantages. Why is this so special? What makes this different? What are the advantages of using this? And then last, B, benefits. And that kind of goes with the last one, benefits. What is this going, what problem is this going to solve, okay? So B, fab, okay? Features, advantages, and benefits of every single thing you talk about, okay? You should always be trying to educate your customers. You should always be trying to educate yourself. And we'll get into that later. 
Um, but that is literally the secret of sharing, okay, of sharing socially. Um, number three, be a good listener, okay? So this is like, we talk about this often, the Scentsy Goggles, okay? Um, Scentsy Goggles, be a good listener, okay? And this goes into so many, like, deeper things than just business. But when people feel heard, they feel valuable. They feel like they matter. And if you're not in the business to make people feel like they matter, this may not be the business for you, okay? So I posted something um, earlier this morning and it was like talking, it was Laura Godwin. She's a superstar director. She's got the best heart, sweetest person ever. Um, and she was talking about, you know, even as a superstar director, she goes through ruts and she gets unencouraged and she gets, or I don't even know if that's a real word, but you know what I'm saying. There are times where she doesn't feel motivated. Okay. And how does she get out of that? She pours into other people and that will always lift her spirit up. So if you're not in the business of making people feel better, making people feel like they matter, making people feel less stuck, making people feel like they see the light at the end of the tunnel, Maybe do some self-reflection and consider if this is the business for you, okay? So be a good listener. If you hear people talking about how, like for instance, I have a really good friend that I've made over this year and I'm never like, oh my God, join, 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 join. Of course not. But I share how since he blesses my life and I listen, okay? So when she told me that, you know, her youngest son, he is my oldest son's age, um, so, you know, she was like, now that I, we're, our kids are going to kindergarten next year and that's her last, that's her baby. And she's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all, like, I don't, I guess I got to get a job. Like, I don't know. And my scentsy goggles unfogged when she said that, because you don't have to get a job. You're bored. I have a solution for you. Okay. Like I get it. I get it. You want something outside of just being a stay at home mom. I have a solution for you. Okay. Um, when your friends are talking about how they're constantly broke, you have a solution right in front of you. And if you're constantly broke, you have a solution right in front of you. Okay. There have been times where I was broke, 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 broke. And do you know what made me unbroke growth? Do you know what made me grow? Since he, since he made me uncomfortable, since he made me see a, that there was a different way that generational curses were going to stop at my, they are not going to affect my children. Okay. Since he was a vessel for me to see something bigger. If you are feeling stuck and you are feeling broke and you are feeling defeated, I want you to really take a big look at your whole life. And I, it, it takes some like messy, deep, nitty gritty reflection, okay? You're not gonna like everything you notice, okay? And you shouldn't because we're not all perfect, right? We're not Jesus, like we are not perfect, okay? Um, so I want you to do some self-reflection. Be a good listener. Um, if your friends are talking about how they're bored, since he's a great vessel. If your friends are talking about like, all like in the instance of joining, but not even in the instance of joining, have your Scentsy goggles on. If your friends are saying, I really want a diffuser, but I can't afford it, host a party, host a shopping link. Let me get it for you for free or half off. Okay. Those Scentsy goggles need to be on. Be a good listener. Okay. And just practice that skill. That is a skill that is so underrated in our in our society. Be a good listener. Not everything is about you. Listen to the people around you. Listen to their problems and try to find solutions, okay? Um, number four, make yourself stand out, okay? So why are people, if me and my neighbor, we both sell Scentsy, that's not the case, not that I know of, but if we were, why would, like, why would people order from me? What makes me special? What makes me stand out? I can tell you that one, right off the bat, number one is my customer service. I just don't, if there's no one who's going to beat me on customer service, if anything, we're going to like be matched and matched. But I know that I provide the absolute best experience that is humanly possible to my customers. Okay. I go out of my way. I go above and beyond. They know they're appreciated. They know they're loved. 
They know that I'm not spending my Scentsy check going clubbing, that I'm buying, like, I share all that stuff. It is important to me. It puts, it feeds my children, okay? It's not, and even if it was fun money, that's great, share that, but that's not what it is for me, okay? It is a real, it's real. That's all I know. It's, it's, it's real, okay? So make yourself stand out. What's your customer service look like? What's your social media look like? If you're on social media and you're always talking about politics and baby mama drama and how you're pissed off at the lady who didn't put her card away and how this lady almost hit you in the car and how that lady got an ugly face, like I don't give a damn, whatever it might be. Mm. I am scrolling so, if I, if, if I don't scroll past you, I literally will mute you so that I never see your stuff again. It's true. It's true. And I'm not the only one. Could you imagine, like, think about it. Do you think people are muting you? Because they're like, they don't want to go like to the whole unfriending thing because they're, they don't want to be mean, but they don't want to see what you're posting because it is not bringing value to their life. You don't want to be muted. You don't want to be muted. Okay. So make yourself stand out. Um, and we're, that's going to go up into my next tip and that's social media. You need to pick a platform and you need to be good at it. Okay. So I choose Instagram and Facebook because they're linked together and it just, it's like one of those work smarter, not harder things. Um, and I choose to be really good at it, right? Like pick something in your business and be really good at it. You can't be good at everything. You can't do everything and excel at everything. Now, do I think you should try everything? Yes. Do I think you should try everything at the same exact moment in time? No, I don't. I don't. Find something, work on it for six months, and see if it, if it benefits you. See if it serves you, okay? So um, my next step is have a follow-up system. And that's just, I mean, I can't really go too far into depth than that, but how are you going to... It is, like I say always, all the time, it is so much easier to get someone to buy from you more than once than to get someone to buy from you once. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It is so much easier to have a repeat customer because I told you, you're going to have amazing customer service, right? Okay. So it's so much easier to make them want to order from you again if you do what you're supposed to do, if you're a good person and you're a light, okay, than it is to convince someone to make that first order. So have a follow-up system because you can't have repeat customers without following up. Fortune in the follow-up, fortune in the follow-up, fortune in the follow-up. You also cannot have a sustainable, growing, like big business on the same 15 customers you had at your launch party. So you need to be asking people in your follow-up to create those personal shopping links, host a party. I don't use the word party because I think it scares my people. So I just say personal shopping links or referral links. That works great for me too. Um, get like, start reflecting in your verbiage and how you put yourself out to the world, right? I'm not saying you need to be this fake robot, like be real, but also you want to put your best face forward. Okay. Right. Like you want, you want to make a good impression or you should, you should want to make a good impression. Um, so have a follow-up system. I use, um, I call it Maven because I'm old school and I've been in business for a long time and that's what it used to be called, but it's called sell with Amy. If you go to the top of our pinned announcements in our team, Facebook group, rise and grind, our, um, Facebook family group, rise and grind. Um, I have a referral code. Okay. And it will get you a free month of Amy. Go try it. It literally is, it's it's like having a virtual personal assistant. Now, after your free um, like time frame is up, I think it's like $8 a month. I pay for the year, so I don't know what it is monthly, but it's very user-friendly. It will teach you how to talk to people. I don't think that you should just send the exact message that it gives you, but it gives you like a blueprint, and then you can make that blueprint you. And there you go again, standing out, right? Um, I want you to go back and think like when you order from people, how are you treated? When you order from people, how are you treated? How do you feel? Do you feel like you were just an order? Do you feel like you were appreciated? Do they send you happy mail? Do they send you a thank you letter? Do they send you a thank you text? I bet all of those things help you remember who they are, right? So if I'm going to go like, for instance, there's only one other girl that I have ever ordered from ever who has who matches me 
on Hustle. And she's a Color Street um, person. I don't even love Color Street that much, but I love how she runs her business. And I want to support her. All right? So I find Color Street people all the dang time. They, all the time. And I am so, I love how she runs her business. I love how she makes me feel appreciated. I love how she has connected with me because she's also a boy mom. She, you know what I'm saying? She, those things. She has stood out to me. And now she has my loyalty and I've never met her in person. Okay. But I will never buy Color Street from anyone else. <clears throat> never. She has amazing customer service. She takes her business seriously. She's personable. She doesn't post negative crap all over, all over her Facebook. She doesn't spam me, right? She literally, all she does, she sends me happy meal, happy mail, and she asks me if I like my stuff. And that's enough for me. And no one else has ever done that. And it makes me remember her, okay? So, um, number seven, number seven, self-development. Like, y'all already know that I am a YouTube training junkie. You go to my YouTube history and I have watched three training videos today already. I really don't watch TV anymore. I read and I watch YouTube because I want to be better, right? Now, I have like at night, I will, there's like, I'm not all business all the time, right? Like I time block and allow myself entertainment too. But what fills my cup is learning, right? Like learning. I can, I noticed that like <laughs> there are some people where they have asked me the same question 10 times and I have sent them the same YouTube video 10 times, really literally 10 times. And I don't know if you know this, but YouTube, you can see who views you, how many views you have, all of the analytics are there. So I know if you watch it or not. It's not my responsibility to make you watch it. I sent the video. I sent the answer. I need, you need, I don't need because it's you, it's your business. You need to teach yourself, right? Like you need to be developing. If you think I'm the same person that I was, if the, the girl that pushed yes, the girl that pushed join is not the girl training you here today. It's not. The girl I am today won't be the girl training you five years from now. I will have so much more art like under my arsenal, you know? So always be willing to learn. You are not too old. You're not too cool. You're not too good. You're not too this. You're not too that to learn. You're not. Okay. Um, next tip. Um, if you are working your business one hour a day, 80% of that time needs to be an IPA, which is called an income producing activity. 20% is the, the fluff, right? The fluff, the... Stuff that doesn't, isn't IP in, income producing. So if you are spending two hours making samples, okay, but, and they sit in your office for the next season, that was not income producing, right? Like you spent money to make the samples, to get the supplies, to get the product. Um, and then your time is even more valuable than any dollar could be, right? If you didn't talk to anyone, if you didn't hand it to anybody, if you didn't follow up on that sample, it wasn't income producing. So you need to figure out what's income producing for you because not, we're not the same. Our businesses are not the same. I have monetized my scroll. So if you're scrolling social media, but no one knows you're a Sensi consultant, your scroll's not monetized, right? When I'm scrolling social media, I'm networking, I'm commenting, I'm liking on things. I'm never just looking, okay? It's all intentional. Income producing. Um, next, um, when on the note of social media, your social media, one second. Hey blue. Hey guys. Lots of people popping in. Hey, um, your social media should be 70% you, your family, what you love to do, who you are, what makes you stand out. 30% sensi. Eh, like 0.5% flyers, okay? Like, or, you know, 25.5% Sensi, 5% flyers. Like, you don't want a ton of flyers. Flyers don't do you any good. I haven't, flyers don't make me buy anything. Do they make you buy something? I mean, if you, they make you buy something, maybe your audience will like the flyer, but my audience, I'm a millennial. 
I am 28 years old. Okay. Um, I don't think a lot of people know that I am 28 years old. Um, I, my audience, people that relate to me, we don't give up about flyers, right? Don't care. Don't care. We know, like we are the generation of social media. We know we can see, see through everything. Okay. A flyer that your company made that you didn't do anything for, like you didn't make the flyer. You literally just screenshotted it and screenshotted a blurry version of it at that. Mm. What's that SNL? L. 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 That's what I think of when I say that. Like that, you know, that um, skit. Don't do it. You sharing your experience, sharing what something smells like, what is the scent memory that it takes you back to? What like those things are 5 million percent more personable. 5 million percent more likely to have to grab my attention, okay? Honestly, literally. Like let's talk about coffee. I love coffee. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. Y'all know that I love Scentsy. I love my kids. I love my dogs, my husband. I love working out and I love coffee. Like those are like, if you could think of, and I love crystals, those types of things. Like those are the big things that people think of when they think of me. So let me talk about this coffee. Could you imagine, maybe it was like a stock photo and I there, and it was like, wow, that's, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I, I should probably, you know, try that coffee one day. Take that note and then take, I'm gonna be on live or a picture, whatever, whatever I feel my fancy. Mm. Y'all, this coffee, it feels like I am on a beach, alone, sipping, reading a book, no one's yelling for me. This coffee feels like me time. This coffee, I'm like the salt, salted caramel, some cream, it's creamy. It's hot here in, Te it is hot in Katy, Texas, y'all. It is hot. This coffee is cold. It make this is the energy I needed today, okay? Doesn't that make you feel like you want a cup of coffee or something? Or maybe it doesn't, maybe I'm bad at it. I don't know, but it's so much better than just a picture of a, of a coffee, right? Like who, no one, no one cares about the dang pictures, okay? Stop posting, stop the, stop the flyers, stop the flyers. And also, y'all, this is just a, honestly, just a personal pet peeve. I'm sure that most of the population does not care about this, okay? Let me be clear. But if you, if I, if you were trying to sell to me, okay? <laughs> if you were trying to sell to me, if I was your target audience, okay? Gosh, I wish I was, if I was on my phone, I will post an example, but like if you screenshot someone's post and you don't even edit that you're like where your battery and the time and your location and how many bars you have. And I like, so you show everyone that all you did was screenshot someone else's post. I'm going to laugh at you and I'm just going to be so real with you. Like I am going to be, I'm going to go find whose post that was and buy from them actually because I'm petty like that because be you be you you see the post that's fine make it go make the post of your own coffee and post it you know, that girl gonna be like girl that wasn't caramel coffee that was vanilla you don't know what the f you even talking about girlfriend like they're gonna call you out one day you know karma's real like you're gonna be called out one day stop scream stop copying people stop it they run their business the way they do and you don't even know if that's working and you think it's working and you're actually just replicating bad behavior. Be you, be authentic, stand out. You love a post, I love that you love that post. I love that you are inspired, okay? I want you to now go and take that post and make it yourself, okay? Now, listen to me. If I post a picture and my children's faces are not in it, and my own face is not in it, or my name is not on it. I don't care if you take it. I don't care. If my children's picture, if it's like a picture of my child holding a Scentsy Buddy, and you go and post it on your page, I am going to reach out to you and ask you to delete it, because 
that's weird. Do not post pictures of other people's kids on your, like it's just so weird. I don't care about pictures, but for the love of all things holy and all things success, don't copy and paste. Don't copy and paste people's stuff. Don't copy and paste people's stuff. Take the picture, that's great. If it's like a warmer, if you think every picture of warmers that I've posted is my own photo, absolutely not. Those are pictures by leaders who have given us the okay to use them because their family just like are not in it. Um, but they have not given us the okay to copy and paste their words, okay? If you love a warmer, okay, so we're gonna go back to the coffee, okay? So say that this is, a coffee that someone else posted a picture of it okay and i'm gonna take the picture of the coffee okay i'm trying to make it very simple if she wrote this coffee fuels a girl mom's heart and i copy and pasted it people would know i'm a fraud because i'm not a girl mom people are going to see through it eventually now if i take her picture because she gave me the okay and i posted it and i said Y'all, thank the Lord for little boys, but thank the Lord for coffee. It changed the story and it became a part of my story, right? So just be really intentional with things like that. You also don't know who you're going to piss off, you know? Not everybody's nice, right? I'm not, like, I personally, I'm only ever going to say something if, if you like took a picture of my kids, right? Not everybody's like, but there's going to be sometimes someone who's like, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And you just don't just spare yourself the embarrassment. Be you, be authentic. You can do this. Okay. Next tip. Um, be oh, off, off of that one. Be a person of value. Also, don't attribute your likes and your comments to your value. Okay, because I can't tell you how many times someone has been like, I've, you know, like, or someone who's never even bought in Cincy from me. And they'd be like, I've been watching you for so long. Um, and I think I want to, like, can you tell me a little bit about joining? And I'm like, in my head, like, I didn't even know you knew I sold Cincy because like, you've literally never liked it. You've never caught, but she was watching. Could you imagine if I would have let her lack of liking and commenting Stop me from posting. Stop me from talking. You're not too busy. You're not. I love you. I love you all, but you're not too busy. There are superstar directors, superstar directors making $50,000 a month. And I don't want you to think that I'm lying. $50,000 a month who have full-time jobs, multiple kids, husbands, farms, ranches, this, that, this, that, blah, blah, blah. And they make time for it. They make it work. Actually, a lot of superstar directors keep their full-time jobs making $50,000 a month with Cincy so that they can keep their health insurance benefits so that they don't have to get self-employed health insurance because it's expensive. If they're not too busy, neither are you. You just have to learn to manage your time better. That's it. Go watch some YouTubes about time management. Read a book. Stop taking naps. What the fuck is a nap gonna do for you, okay? And I mean that with the most love in my heart that I can do, right? Is If it's your rest day, take that nap, girl, right? If it's in your business hours and you choose a nap over following up with your customers and you wonder why you're at $56 in sales this month, you gotta get nitty gritty in your reflection, okay? People are watching. People are watching. And regardless of what you're posting, people are watching. So if you're only posting negative stuff, people are watching. If you're never talking about your business, people are watching. If you're always talking about your business, people are watching. And all of the effects of your causes are up to you, okay? So um, tip number nine, mm, 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 mm. tip number nine is keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't be stagnant, keep it moving. What do I mean by keep it moving? This is what I mean. If you've never gone back to your list of 100, because if you were my own personal frontline, you know that I'd be talking about that list of 100 often, okay? If you have never revised it, you quit moving. Keep it moving, girl. 
get back on there, revise that list of 100. If you're, I, I notice this a lot in newer consultants, people who are, <coughs> excuse me, hungry, like people who are hungry for sales. So you post a picture of this beautiful diffuser, okay? And someone comments on it, okay? And you get so laser focused on that person being a customer that you forgot everyone else in real life that you could have had a conversation with because you just keep texting the same person. You're, so, you're, you're stuck on it. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck on people. Don't get stuck on making one person a customer. Don't get stuck on making one person join your team. If one person, if you've had one, like that's happened to me, right? So like I've had a person, for instance, like earlier in my Sensi journey, who showed interest in joining Sensi. And I'm so hungry to grow a team. I want it so bad that I get stuck on that one person and I'm like constantly like thinking about them. Thinking about why, why, why are they not saying yes yet? Why did they not make their order yet? Instead of finding 10 new people to have a conversation with and network with, right? Don't get stuck. Keep it moving. They're watching. We just talked about that. They're watching. Let, let them choose on their time, okay? Don't be annoying, first of all. Don't be annoying. But don't get stuck. Keep it moving. When I say a list of 100 I've been reading this book called Get Over Your Damn Self. One of my best friends, one of our leaders on this team bought it for me. And it is so good. It is so good. It's so good. And she talks about this new, like, you know, everything she talks about is things I already know. But it's the way she's talking that I didn't think of it like that. So, for instance, in her business, she calls the list of 100 her master list. And people move on this master list. They like, you know what I'm saying? It's just very interesting. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You're, like I said, those 10 people that you started with aren't going to be the 10 people you finish with, okay? So the last tip of the day, thank you all for joining, is, and this is one, this is, this is the one. They're all important, but this is the one. So listen up. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's not worth quitting. You're going to want to come back because since he is a beautiful, very unique opportunity, if you've done other direct sales and you've come to Sensi after, that's that's the the blanket statement that I get. Rise and grind feels different. Sensi feels different because it is. Don't give up. It's going to be so much harder to restart. Stick with it, okay? It's going to get hard. It's going to get hard. Okay. It's a business. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not success overnight. That's not how it works. Okay. Success takes time. You have to figure out how to become more trustable to your audience. Okay. Maybe you need to be more vulnerable. Maybe you're just not talking about your business enough, right? Like maybe, maybe you just assume everybody knows and no one knows. Okay. You've got to like I said, do that nitty gritty reflection. You've got to figure out what you want. What are your goals? How is Sensi going to be the vessel in your goal? Sensi should not be a goal. Okay. A title should, a title is like a, it's a good short term goal, but there's only so many titles, right? Like don't get caught up in a title. What is the end goal? For me, it's financial freedom. Absolutely. I want to be a yes mom. Okay. I want my, like that is, it is just so deeply rooted in me that I, I, I couldn't quit Sensi if I wanted to, and I wouldn't want to, okay? But Sensi has become so much freedom for me, for me. What it is for you, I don't know. Maybe you don't know yet, and maybe we need to talk about it. Shoot me a text. If you, if you don't, if your why is not very specific and it's not deeply rooted, when you're ready to quit, it's going to be easy to. Absolutely, it'll be easy to. It'll be so easy to put down your kit and say, I tried, but you didn't really try. Why do you think there are people in Cincy making $100,000 a month? Do you think that they never wanted to quit? Do you think that they're just lucky? That's, that's not it. 
That's not it. Don't discredit everything that they've done, right? No, their, their why is so deeply motivated or so deeply rooted that it, uh, it drives them to work when they're not motivated to. It drives them to work their business instead of taking a nap. It drives them to get off of the couch and stop watching Netflix and start following up with some customers. It drives them to say yes to the events. It drives them to offer the shopping links. It drives them to make the happy meal. All of those things are income producing. If you are consistent, positive, and effective, okay? Go to the events, like World Tour and SFR. I promise you, you go to one, you're never gonna miss another. They are, there's just like, it, there's nothing you can compare it to. I could never, I could never explain a Sensi event to you and it be everything that you experience like it's just it's crazy but sir, i'm using the same word but it's different go to the events and then also like sign up for the events try the vendor events do the shopping links do those things they do make a difference okay but most importantly never give up if i told you how many times i've wanted to quit like just off of a 10 minute emotion, not off of my big picture. Because once I remember who the F I am and I look at the big picture, of course I'm never gonna quit. Of course not, I have too much riding on this. But if, don't let 10 minute emotions make you forget who the F you are and what you are capable of, okay? You are magic. Do you know the odds that you are you? Like one in a gazillion, billion, trillion. I don't know if that's a number, but that's the odds. Don't go, don't play small. Don't stay under the radar. Show people your light. Show people your magic. Show people the light that they are. Give people a reason to want more and to dream bigger. That is the power of leadership and the power of Sensi. Okay. I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed these tips. If you've learned anything, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. And like I said, if you are tuning in from YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, I am always going to be real with you. I am a tough love type of person. Um, my message is not always given necessarily the way that um, other people want to receive it, but often the way they need to receive it. So I love you guys so much. You are so important. You matter so deeply. And this opportunity will absolutely change your life if you allow it to. It's not going to do it with your mouth closed. It's not going to do it with the 10 people you started a business with. It's not going to do it working five minutes a day. But if you choose greatness, you will get, you will receive greatness. Okay. Y'all, y'all, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've changed my verbiage a lot when I'm talking. I receive this blessing. Like I deserve this blessing. I do. And you do too. So pick up your kit, open your mouth. I love you guys.